Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at painting a cyclamen plant. At this time of year I just love buying these. Um, they come into the shops in September and they're just so cheerful and pretty and very easy to look after and inexpensive so I like to have one on the side so I thought it was a good subject for me to do for you today. Now the actual drawing itself you can see I've been doing in ink and they're a very distinctive flower shape. The, the petals sort of unfurl from the buds and so they all end up with these nice curves and curls in them. And the, the leaves as well are quite curled over as well. So quite enjoyed doing the drawing of this um, in the ink pen with those very distinctive shapes. And I think I'll perhaps come back on Thursday and do a video on drawing the flower shapes themselves and just talk through the drawing. So this video really was more about the negative painting. So we talk about negative painting in watercolour and obviously positive painting and we talk about painting wet in wet and we talk about painting wet in dry. But the thing is really in most paintings, as particularly with watercolour, it's all about problem solving and what techniques we're going to use to try and put that image onto the paper. So you, you'll invariably find that most paintings you use a little bit of everything without really thinking about it. So we're going to be using both wet in wet, wet on dry and like I say a combination of the negative painting and positive painting. But I really wanted to talk to you about the advantages of negative painting. So for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about when I say negative painting, really we're talking in between about drawing in between the lines, so draw, drawing between the shapes um, and you'll see me doing that later with the paint as I'm putting the paint on I get a smaller brush with a second lot of washes and I paint behind them, um, painting the background rather than painting the flower but then that makes the flower stand out. So the, the advantages of this are one with the drawing um, you get the shapes right of your flower because if you get the shape right of the gaps in between if you like so the space between the petals the space between the one leaf and the next leaf if that shapes correct then the shape of your leaf or your petal is going to be correct but also it helps to make that subject stand out so if you go a lot darker behind if the flowers particularly if you're painting white flowers it's very very useful you can make your flowers stand out without actually painting the flowers themselves so you you know they sort of appear from the paper if you like as you fill in those background shapes and it'll become more um, self-explanatory as you watch me painting so those were the two reasons really one it helps with your drawing and two it really helps those shapes stand out if you can get some nice dark colours behind them with your negative painting. And the next thing that I wanted to talk about in this video um, was learning from your mistakes and also you learning from my mistakes. Often I'll finish a video and I'll think, oh, I've made a mess of that. Maybe I'm a little bit tired. I'm not just concentrating, maybe thinking about something else. And I think, should I start the whole video again or should I just leave it? And today I've made a mess, I made a mess at the end, I I overworked the painting, I carried on too far, I should have left it a lot earlier and I shouldn't have, have put the paint underneath the bottom of the pot like I did at the end and you'll see that when it comes to the end of the video and sort of halfway through the painting's looking much nicer, much fresher and I should have left it there just with putting that little bit of pink in the base of the flower but apart from that I really should have left it sort of halfway through. But I've, I've left all that in and I've left my mistakes in because I want you to, you know, learn from that and think, well, I won't do that. And so as well as learning from your own mistakes, when you're watching videos on YouTube, learn from other people's mistakes. Because if it, if it becomes obvious to you that something looks wrong and you think, oh gosh, I wouldn't have done that, then you've learned something and you know how to tackle the subject yourself. So... That's my reason for leaving these these things in. So in quite a few of my videos, you might think, oh, she's overworked it a bit there, or, you know, she shouldn't have done this. And we all have our off days, and we all have things that we chuck in the bin. Um, you know, so learn from that. So when you overwork things, it becomes muddy looking, and it becomes flat looking, and, you know, you lose that vibrancy and that clean look of the painting, and you'll see that. So... 
if you've got a cyclamen, if you haven't, you know, they're readily available at this time of year, like I say, it's a really nice, pretty little flower to have a go at because they come in so many different colours as well. That's the other thing. You could do a bunch of them, you know, get three or four pots together, all different colours. I think next time I probably wouldn't bother even trying to paint the, the actual plant pot that it's in. I would just do those massive leaves with the flowers coming out of them because the way the little flowers pop out of the leaves like that and unfurl, it's lovely. So I think... When we come back on Thursday, I'm going to talk just about drawing the flowers and the flower shapes and do perhaps one flower head in a much more detail than I've done on here. This is quite an illustrative little little picture rather than, uh, you know, a, a very realistic painting. But it's just getting a feel for those shapes of the flower and we'll come back and do it in more detail. OK, so if you do have a go at doing one and you don't have to do it in watercolour, obviously you could just draw it or you could just do it in crayon or whatever. Let me know how you get on in the comments below and also let each other know how you get on and, and what you've learned from it. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.
Thank you. 